For the entire week leading up to the FDU Florham game, the Albright coaching staff instructed the Lion players to not be concerned about who they were playing, but rather be concerned about how they were playing. That single-mindedness resulted in the Lions' first conference win of the season. Malik Gilmore blocked two punts, returning one for a touchdown, and Danny Ty rushed for a career-high 143 yards and two touchdowns, leading Albright to its first Mid-Atlantic Conference victory of the season with a 38-20 victory over FDU Florham on Saturday at Shirk Stadium. FDU Florham got off to a fast start and took a 14-10 lead into the intermission behind the play of quarterback Tyler Maurer who threw two first-half touchdowns to Malik Presley. Albright took its first lead of the game on its first drive of the third quarter. Ty began the scoring drive with a 25-yard run, and two plays later, he punched the ball into the end zone from eight yards out, giving Albright a 17-10 lead. FDU Florham answered the Albright score with a touchdown march of its own. The Devils went 74 yards on seven plays, and Anthony Okabini scored from four yards out, giving FDU Florham a 20-17 lead. Albright then took the lead for good late in the third quarter. The Lions capped a 41-yard five-play drive with a tie rushing touchdown from one yard out, giving Albright a 24-20 lead with 1.20 to play in the quarter. Gilmore, who also blocked an extra point attempt, blocked a punt by Holden Earhart with 14.53 left in the game and picked it up in the end zone, giving the Lions a 31-20 lead. After another blocked punt by Gilmore in the Devils' next drive, Patrick Wise connected with Vinnie Williams for a 10-yard touchdown with 11.42 left in the game, pushing the Lion lead to 38-20. To we, we, uh, you know, we certainly made some mistakes today, and we've got a ways to go in some respects, but you know, it's, it's always better to be 1-0 uh, uh, you know, and still having to clean up mistakes rather than the alternative. And you know, The last four weeks have been, have been tough, you know, I think, on us as a football team. We were very young. We played a tough schedule. And, you know, we weren't able to come out ahead, and you know, in, in the last several games, and so you know, anytime you can, you can, uh, you, know, you can erase, you know, erase those losses with one big win. I mean, that, that certainly does a lot for your football team. Um, I was really pleased with our special teams today. Uh, we created great field position. We flipped the field on them, I tilted the field so we were playing downhill, and then we blocked four kicks today, two punts. You know, one, one of them went for a touchdown, the other one set up a touchdown, uh, blocked a field goal, and blocked an extra point. And so uh, there's a lot of just momentum-changing plays today on special teams, which really, you know, uh, it was really what contributed to the avalanche, you know, that you saw, you know, happen. And, um, and then, you know, offensively, I was really pleased with how we ran the ball today. We ran the, I don't know what our yardage was, but it was, we ran the ball better today than we have all year and more consistently. And um, you know, that, that was a great job by our offensive line and our, and our running backs. Danny Ty did a great job, you know, running the ball today. Um, and then defensively, yeah, I mean, we, we create a lot of big plays on defense. We had sacks, we had tackles for loss, uh, we created some turnovers. Uh, so that that was good to see. Um, you know, I was not, you know, certainly pleased with all the penalties that we had today. You know, I feel like, um, you know, that, that's something that has plagued us a little bit throughout the season and, and certainly we, we got to clean up some of those things because it just hurt us particularly in the first half um, and, and you know we go into halftime you know down 17 14 or whatever it was and uh, you know we just talked about ha at halftime about you know our, our theme of this week was pride and you know um, you know pride is you know has to do with how you feel about yourself vanity has to do with you know what others think of you and I didn't really care what anyone else thought but you know pride is about us Performing to our best ability, uh, you know, so that you know we can feel, you know, uh, good about where we are and about what we're doing. This had nothing to do with FDU today. This had to do everything to do with Albright. And I was pleased with how we came out in the second half, really uh, gangbusters, and, and created that avalanche in the third quarter. And then we were able to hold on to it, you know, through the fourth. You know, we, we're into fall break this week, so our guys are off uh, tonight, tomorrow, and Monday, and we're, we're going to get back to work on Tuesday to you know uh, get into our bye week uh, it's a good time for the bye week uh, you know in two respects we've got some guys that are have been injured and, you know plagued by injury that we can get some rest for them and then the other part of it is just getting back to fundamentals and not having to worry about preparing for an opponent but just preparing ourselves uh, and we're certainly at that time of year where, where you know, we need that and uh, just gonna get back to good on good basically kind of going back to camp and uh, no, you know, no scout team or even our young guys. There's an opportunity for them to get better, and uh, and then you know we just you know we have got to finish the season the right way. 
And, you know, one thing I've learned is that no one ever remembers how you started, but everyone remembers how you finished. So um, it's how you finish the game, it's how you finish the drive, it's how you finish the run, uh, and it's, it's how you finish the season. And so, you know, we've got four opportunities left. For my seniors, they have four opportunities for the rest of their life, guaranteed. So it's about finishing things the right way. And, and uh, that, you know, for them, it's, it's about, you know, creating, uh, you know, creating, you know, their own, writing the, the end of their own story you know, is what I talked to them about and, and about creating a legacy for this program moving forward. And for our underclassmen, the way we finish is really about us creating momentum for us as we move forward. Albright will have its bye week next week and return to action on October 25th when it hosts Kings at 1 p.m. in Shirk Stadium.